Front Runner, directed and written by Jason Reitman, stars Hugh Jackman, J.K. Simmons, and Vera Formiga, among others. And we take a look at Gary Hart's presidential campaign in 1988, and now it is derailed after he is caught having a scandalous love affair, and we see his professional and personal life completely falling to the ground. Now let's talk positives first, as always. Hugh Jackman, this dude is amazing. I just love this actor. He's one of the best guys working today. He's one of the most versatile actors working today. And he does a great job here because this dude plays fragile really well. He plays smiley, happy, genuine very well. But then there's a turn in this movie, obviously, and the dude just plays someone who is trying to deal with this situation but is more shocked than anything. And I will get into that. But the dude just plays every level of this character so well. And Vera Formiga, the same, the two are very endearing together, but when you see stuff going to shit, it's the two of them that you hang on to. These are the two most powerful people in the film because of everything they had to deal with, and the movie shows that, and they show that very well. And J.K. Simmons, I love him. He's great as always, but he is this dude who is very blunt, and I love his bluntness, because every time someone's just beating around the bush, he just says stuff to someone's face, and boom, Problem solved, moving on. And I love how Jason Reitman directed this film because it's nothing new that we get a film that deals in two tones or more. And this film does deal in kind of a jovial, more happy mood. And then it starts going down the drama once shit goes down the drain. But it's the way that he constructs that because in the beginning you see Gary Hart, he is the front runner. He has the most votes. Everyone is on his side, everyone wants him to win. He's got this on the back, but then the scandal gets find out and then everything starts going down and the tone gets darker and more dramatic and feels more heavy and you feel the weight of that in each and every one of the characters you follow in each and every one of the perspectives on his personal life, on his professional life, on the people who are supporting him in his campaigns, on the reporters, on the people who supported him as a white audience in the United States and you even see that perspective of the press and how divided the press is even about the stuff that happened. It's nothing new to have a film that says something about the press either but what Gary's crusade is after after this is not really about how they screwed him, it's about really how the press can screw somebody because you have to ask yourself, okay he cheated on his wife and that's bad and I understand anyone who'd stop voting for him after that, but how does that invalidate the fact that he would make a great president? How does that invalidate the fact that he was a great candidate? How does that invalidate the fact that he was a great politician and a great senator? It doesn't take away that he messed up, it doesn't take away that it is a bad thing that he cheated on his wife, but it really has nothing to do with how good of a president he might have been. And that's really what his mission is in this film after this, because there's a scene in the film where J.K. Simmons is talking about Gary Hart and he says, well, Gary, when he started going in, down into politics, he said, well, what about my private life? And I said, well, you're not gonna have it, Gary. And that's really what shocks him the most and that's really what he fights against in this film. It's to not have the press or anything like this of a personal matter screw someone professionally because it's not fair. The two things really have nothing to do with each other. As far as issues, there are a few things. I wish I could have actually seen him having the affair and not suddenly depressed, just bombarding him with these questions and interrogations. I also wish you could have seen a little bit more of his family life and how he was at the house with his daughter and his wife. We do see his relationship with his wife, but during the campaigning, during going here and there to each state and campaigning to become the President of the United States, I just wish I could have seen a more peaceful moment, a more personal moment, a more intimate moment to see how really that affected that. Again, you see it through the character and how emotionally shocking he gets and how depressed and even more depressed he gets, but I wish I could have seen it more. This is the best film Jason Reitman has done in a while. I really like the way he captured authenticity in characters and in the situation in people from all perspectives. Hugh Jackman is fantastic. The Front Runner is definitely a movie you don't want to miss and I am going to give it an A-. minus. Now what did you guys think of The Front Runner? Let me know in the comments below. And what is your favorite political drama in the past few years? Let me know in the comments below. And yes, I'm all dressed up because I went to a press screening and I'm probably going to one again this afternoon. So I hope to see you there and in many other reviews. Thank you so much. Once again, you guys are the best. So until the next review, you stay beautiful, you stay geeky. And if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button, click the bell so you can be geeky. United!